Hey, it's Sean. Hey, it's Brie. And this is I Can Explain. The podcast where we answer the questions that you are too afraid to ask. And this week's topic is Holidays 2021. We've done a Holidays, I think, almost every year. But this is 2021, the remix part two. The fact that I am so convinced it's 2022. Every time someone has <laughs> said 2021 for the last two months, I'm like, sounds wrong. I thought you were going to say, the fact that this is the first time we've done Holidays... <laughs> Because you just have <laughs> after all no these idea. years. <laughs> no, I literally was like, we have to do a holiday episode, and you were like, well, we do that every year, and we like, just talk about the same thing. And I was like, well, I don't remember what we talked about, so whatever. I don't remember either. I'm sure people, the poor souls mm-hmm. that are um, doing like a binge, yeah, will hate it because they have to <laughs> listen to it. But I think other people, if they're listening year by year, probably also don't really remember. Or new listeners that haven't gone back and listened. Yeah. But um, honestly, most people say they go back and listen to everything, which frightens me. But I also get it. You kind of have to have the (laughs) storyline. You really have to have the ins and outs of the storyline. There's so many characters introduced. Can you believe that some people don't know this is a scripted show? I know. (laughs) Can you believe that this is the most poorly written script (laughs) on the face of the earth? You know what I was thinking, though? What? Talking about our OGs and um, people that listen from the beginning. You haven't had a Breeze quote in a while. And I think it's because you haven't been quotable. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I think you've just been lacking on the zingers and the one-liners. You okay. haven't said that's, I haven't, that's a joke. Not a single laugh has been had from no. anything I've said. Um, I haven't brought up the fact that it's not about what people say, like what you just said to me. That's exactly. It's about how you make me feel like shit. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. Breeze clap. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you like um it's not um what you say about the holidays. Mm. It's how the holidays make you feel. Right. Like shit. <laughs> Before we get into this cheeriness, mm. um wherever you're watching or listening, specifically listening, I just learned something, okay, from my friend who has a podcast. And they said that it is very 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 important that your listeners follow or subscribe wherever they're listening right because it actually like really helps with the didn't we know this though well here's the thing isn't that what we've been pumping for six years now i like to assume on social media that everything has something to offer yeah like you know on youtube if people like it if they subscribe if they comment i like to think of all those as equal parts like i'm like if you're doing anything thank you that's helpful Right. right but I have recently learned that even more than amount of listens per episode, the amount of people that are currently following or subscribed greatly weighs on how many people or how often you're going to show up in the charts. My question is, Uh where do five star ratings come in? Because that's (laughs) what we've been focusing on. very important. And maybe we need to shift focus. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. What we're going to need is we're just going to need the people to step up a little more. They're going to have to do both. Follow and subscribe on every account. You Every can account. Hack the mainframe. Five stars every account. Yeah. If you're in high school, go on every computer yes. in the school computer and hack the mainframe. Absolutely. Yeah. And also make sure you're doing everything else for us too. You're sharing with all your friends and family. You're following us on Instagram at I Can Explain Podcast. TikTok at I Can Explain Podcast. Flyers, like a street team. Oh my if you gosh. Don't, if you don't have at <laughs> least a street team of like three other people, you're not doing enough. <laughs> Speaking of the holidays, door knockers. Convert them to I can explain, I can explain listeners. Us. Yeah. Carolers. Yeah. But people open the door and it's just a boombox playing <laughs> our podcast. I don't know why no one's it done that. It seems a yet. little offensive that it, that's not our it like it does. seems offensive that I'm bringing that idea up for the first time. Like that we didn't just like open our TikTok and we were tagged. I didn't open my like, door and somebody was like, "Oh my god, you live here?" I was just I was just doing here the promoting. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, this goes out to all of you. First of all, thank you and second of all, step up. <laughs> okay? <laughs> thank you and second of all, do Way, way more better, <laughs> way better way more you Just know kidding, how people have you. like full-time people jobs are hustling for us and I then part-time say. jobs yeah this should be your full-time <laughs> and being a lawyer or whatever part-time part-time <laughs> speaking of which people are hustling for us though no i know i really appreciate them the people the people that listen they know we're all jokes they know 
I right? Know. I hope. Because you know what? Every once in a while on the internet, there's someone who doesn't Do know it's all jokes. Week? What? Do you need a hair tie this I'm, week? Because I'm yeah. Justin Bieber-ing it? No, yeah. I'm feeling Wait, very who? free. Why? Because Justin Bieber in interviews used to always go like this because of his oh. hair. Oh, okay. If you're I was watching, picturing like <laughs> current day Justin Bieber. If you're watching on video on Monday because you're a patron, then yeah. you would have seen my hair flip. And yeah. otherwise you see it on Friday when everyone else gets the video. I was just picturing 2021 Justin, like Tim Biebs. Justin oh, yeah, doing interviews with like a like a sew in <laughs> 24 inches. <laughs> All right. You can become a patron and get the videos early, bonus episodes, um, leaked nudes, all sorts of fun stuff. There's yeah. not actually nudes, but like I, I might, might be soon. <laughs> might be soon. Yeah. I'm you never know when one's gonna drop. Um, by going to the link in the bio at I Can Explain Podcasts and becoming a patron. A huge shout out to all of our patrons, all of our listeners in general. Y'all seriously, jokes aside, are so amazing. Thank you for the support. Thank you for tagging us in your little Spotify lists. And that was every, stunning. Every hey? time, oh my god, I felt overwhelmed. It was a lot. And then um, I felt bad, but I felt happy. Oh, I felt for good. them. Bad oh, for you them. felt bad for the, yeah. their like ears. For yeah, and their mental health. I feel and, like their <sighs> therapy bills. I felt good because I, um, as a Sagittarius. And as a person with a large ego, I like to think that people like to listen to me, which yeah. is, you know. Yeah. But that one person, shout out to them, who said that they fall asleep to our podcast every night. Yeah. That was... And it was like 30,000 minutes or something. You are wow. the real one. I wonder, I would like to ask if it wasn't intrusive, if they like dream about us. I hope they, and I hope it's a journey. <laughs> <laughs> but if they're asleep right now, I hope you're having a good sleep. Oh my God. They're just I hope you're having a sexy dream about me. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, I'm never listening to this again. <laughs> yeah, when I fall asleep. That, that was it. That was the, that was the final straw. Um, a huge, a, a huge thank you and happy holidays to Aiden, Emily, Kate, Olivia, Liz, and Serena. We love you all so much. We appreciate you. It is the holidays. We're talking about it. Sorry. I'm just cracking my shoulder. Oh my God. What was that? It came from like the, it, my shoulder within. forever cracks. Cracks. <laughs> putting the mic to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, are we going to get into this? Yes. I am over the holidays this year. <laughs> That's us getting into it. On our Discord, you asked how people were feeling uh, about the holidays. And I think reading people's... Res- Did you get your lashes done? Mm-mm. No, you're using Rare Beauty. I'm re- <laughs> Today's episode is... Sp- no, it's not sponsored by... I wish. This episode is brought to you by Not Rare Beauty, just Selena Gomez people, is personally paying us. People you're- actually need to know about this mascara because... No, you, it looks like your lashes... The you look like you got Brooks lashes. The ima- oh, because she has extensions. What is I was that? like, just do, are you saying my sister has better lashes? Than yeah, me? she's always known as Lash Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I need the people out there to know about this because I, I do not gatekeep good beauty products. Right. Okay. Can't relate. When I look this stunning, the other people need to know. They, it's on video. They know. They they, they know the truth. <laughs> when my lashes look this stunning, That's the one. They need to know. <laughs> so I'm using for the last month, um, Rare Beauty mascara. Full disclosure, I am on their PR list, so they sent it to me. Okay. But this is not an ad, nor has anything on my Instagram been a paid ad. It's just that they gifted it to me, and then I used it, and I was like, holy actual. F- this is the best mascara of all time. And if you're out there and you disagree with me, you haven't tried it yet because it is the best. I've tried so many Sephora expensive as f- like there's the they're real. There's there, there's so many out there that are good. But this one, the amount of times I've been asked in the last month if I have they're fake very eyelashes. Fine too, which I like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it would be a great stocking stuffer. Some rare beauty mascara. <laughs> the fact or we're just doing coal, this fucking for free. Because I hate the holidays. I got year. you coal last year. You did. Mm-hmm. I think Which it's, was very fitting. Yeah. It's still like in, in my room. Just, I don't know what to do what with do you it. What do you do? I feel like that's something that you could put, like, you know, how some people put like crystals out in like dishes on like a little dish. We, yeah. We you did see crystals coal. at the Christmas market the other day. Mm-hmm. And you, I said, no. Yeah. And, and I was you like, said, why? oh, you don't believe in them. And mm-hmm. I said, I believe in them, but they're not strong enough. Yeah. You don't, there's not enough crystals in the world to help you out. No. Yeah. I'd have to sit on, like, I would, you know, those big crystals that, like, Spencer uh, mm-hmm. Pratt, Pratt had? Have to f- I would have to, crystals. that would have to be up my asshole, <laughs> and it still would have no effect. <laughs> That's what this holiday season is doing to me. 
Yeah. Okay, this is my ta- <laughs> anyways, on Discord you asked people about yes, their, holidays. their holiday plans, mm. what the vibe was this year, and I think reading people's um approaches and understandings and mm. feelings about the holidays made me annoyed even further about the holidays this year. Are you saying that our patrons No, no, you? no, like I was relating to what they were um, saying, but it was like bringing up those emotions within myself where I think I just kind of move past them mm. a lot of the time, but reading it, I was like, wow, these people are so right. So my topic of discussion triggered your hatred for the holidays. Yeah. Okay. I don't hate the holidays. There are things I do hate about the holidays. I hate forced interaction. Right. I hate That's when fair. there's like groups of people or events or all these things that people are only making happen because of the holidays. And I get some of it like, oh, we never see each other. It's nice to plan something. I get that. Right. But a lot of it does feel, oh no, what's happening? Nothing. I'm just trying to, it's bad enough when I try and hold a mic and then I'm also holding a mic glass. Why are you double fisting it? I'm just going to move my hair by my ear. Giving like a Spider-Man grip. Yeah. Also, people are going to come for me that I'm not holding the stem, but these glasses are hard to hold the stem with. Just hold the base. (laughs) Isn't this common? This is like how you hold a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. um, yeah, I don't like forced interaction. Like it just feels <laughs> fake. Mm-hmm. And it's like if these were people I wanted to hang out with the rest of the year, I would have hung out with them the rest of the year. I get the excuse right. that it's nice. To see Shout out to all the people that Sean's seeing this holiday season and hasn't seen. The rest of the year. My face when I'm there will <laughs> will tell, will tell it you all. it's one of those yeah. events. Um, I don't like things and like mm. clutter and you get the gifted holiday. a lot of that. You get gifted a lot of that. There's mm-hmm. so much packaging on everything. Right. Like mm-hmm. all of that stresses me out. Christmas trees. Like I like the idea and like the visual of them, but mm-hmm. then also it's just a lot of stuff, you know? Right. Like there's a lot of things Yeah. and it gives me anxiety. Stressing you out. Yeah. There's just a lot of additional things when I try to not have additional things. I think there's also something to be said and it touches on how you just said reading other people's experiences kind of like maybe brought this more to the surface because it's like validating your own feelings. Yeah. But I feel like there's this weird expectation out there that if you don't like the holidays or don't like components of the holidays that you're like an asshole. Yeah. And I am an asshole, but that I don't think it's like <laughs> super related. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. I feel like there's so much out there about like, Oh, it's the best season and holiday cheer. And like, everyone loves the holidays. <laughs> talking with my hands sean literally just had to see <laughs> you're all you're always giving like choreography the with the mic <laughs> you're doing tiktok I'm dances my, yeah, I'm moving my mic all around. sean literally just had to stop my mic from moving for those of you that are just listening um it's because i you edit the video and i edit the audio mm. and without seeing the video i can tell when it's a part that you were talking with your hands. Oh, because it's like listening. <laughs> <laughs> just catchy yeah. a little bit. I'm a hand talker. I what know. can I say? Yeah. Okay, I'll try and be more still. <laughs> um <laughs> No, I do agree. Yeah, I feel like it's here's the thing. I feel like there's this weird thing out there that it's like you have to be happy during the holidays or you suck basically. Yeah. And I think as queer people for a lot of folks in our community, not only are the regular holiday pressures there, but then there's the added layer of being queer and being around people that may not accept your queerness during the holidays yeah. that, you know, we have to acknowledge because Privilege says that your holiday season is a happy one because not only does it mean that you have a certain amount of money that the holidays don't stress you the f*** out because you can buy gifts and do nice things with your family or your loved ones, things like that. But then on top of that, it says that you have people around you who respect you, your pronouns, your partner, your you know just how you live your life in general 
And so many people and queer people specifically with the latter don't have that. Yeah. So it's like the regular day to day is hard enough when experiencing that. And then when you boatload all this weird pressure, that's like, no, you're an asshole. If you don't see your family, you're an asshole. If you, you know, if you're dreading going to your family dinner yeah, you're a grinch yeah that sucks because like there's valid reasons that people feel that way well that's the thing i'm like first of all there, i'm i'm gonna break it down in the, mm-hmm. the layers of how i feel stress hits for holidays for mm-hmm. some people myself including first of all blanket one yeah wintertime seasonal depression mm-hmm. <laughs> that really just christmas holidays all that shit unrelated just the time of year setting it up bad bad vibes you know i will say that most years i notice the seasonal depression thing but this year has hit really hard for me yes i'll circle back to why i think this year is worse for me for the holidays we'll circle back okay um overarching seasonal depression i think Mm -hmm. not great yeah the days are short it's dark as I actually like the darkness. My seasonal depression isn't super bad because the darkness kind of calms me. Okay. But like just the weather, it's always gross, mm-hmm. rainy, snowy. Like it's very isolating even just in uh, atmosphere. Vibe. Right. There's one for me. Two is money. Like you yeah. said, I think that if you have a good relationship with your friends and family, a lot of people want to express this yeah. with gifts or feel like they should yep. have to express it with gifts, which is like such a stressful thing in itself. Totally. Like it's like you want to do all these things for these people you love, or if you can't, you feel like a shitty person. Mm. And it's like, Money, I think, is hard for most people yeah. year round. Then totally. add in the fact that people expect things or that you feel bad if you don't get them, all mm. that. Then there's like family and forced interaction, like I said, is like a yeah. three on the list tier for me. It's like there are people in my family that I would probably not invite to my own wedding. Yeah. But I see those people in the holidays. Yeah, totally. And it's like that thing that a lot of our, uh, patrons and discord users were talking about that it's like these are people that I'm not close with and I feel like I have to like force see them because it's expected totally so there's just all these different layers and then I think this year is worse for me because last year was like COVID shutdown Mm -hmm. which was the first time in my life and that I have a great relationship with a lot of my family. I do Mm -hmm. like seeing them as much as it might not sound like it right now. Um, Last year was the first time in my entire life that we didn't run around all Christmas. Like we weren't going to like both sides of the family, like coming home, getting changed, waking up early, getting like showering, like this whole thing. Like Christmas has never been relaxing for my family. Totally. And it was the first year in my entire 28 year life mm-hmm. that all we did was just like vibe at home with my like yeah. sister and my parents mm-hmm. and it was so nice and if I don't think any of my family would be listening but if any of my extended family is listening I'm not saying it was nice because I didn't see you yeah I'm just saying no, it was I think any adult gets that yeah it was just nice to like not have that pressure it was nice to just unwind mm-hmm. and have like some calm and then going from that And being, like, almost afraid to interact with people because of the global pandemic and, like, getting this horrific virus and all that to going back into the holidays, I think, has been, like, a real shift for me. I also think with something that you said in regards to... Actually, I'm going to stop the video and restart it because I know it's going to click out. Oh, I thought you I'm going to stop the video. It's going to get pretty emotional. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I don't want anyone seeing my tears. Yeah. No. I think you said something before we started recording that made sense to me. And it relates to what you just mentioned about how it's not about that you don't want to see those people or that you didn't have a nice time seeing those people. It's just this expectation during the holidays that everything has to happen at the exact same time. And... I think also with the quote unquote modern family, more and more people are realizing that 
for a lot of folks, that's just like not possible. Yeah. Like if you have divorced parents, if your partner also has divorced parents, like I have a friend who, um, on both sides, the parents are divorced on one of the sides, the parents were remarried twice and they have a like half siblings that are from the one marriage. So they literally have like five families that they are ex- basically expected to get to in a 48 hour f- period. Yeah. And it's one of those things that like, it just doesn't logistically make sense and it's very stressful. Yeah. And I think what you said before we started recording is really helpful that when I talk before, Hey, <laughs> yeah, no, well, you, you just mentioned like just off the cusp. Is that the right phrase? Cause I don't know. I think it's sometimes off the cuff. See, that's another one. I've my whole life. I've said off the cusp. Well, next time we'll just play it by year. <laughs> I still say that like I catch myself I, after it's play it by ear yeah and off the cuff and pedestal and pedestal <laughs> okay I think I'm learning a lot you are this is some people learn about the holiday things, season is for the, learning and then some people learn about how to speak English and that's me it's um own journey you know <laughs> how crazy is it that there's people out there that English is their second language and they un- understand it better than I do like English is my first language and, and I you wouldn't know it like, <laughs> what am I doing out here? Okay. I forgot yeah, what my what? fourth. Sorry, what? I know you're okay, gonna say yeah, something. Yeah. I forgot what my fourth tier of this whole breakdown was. Okay, okay. My fourth tier is that all of this is then fisted by religious undertones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I am not ragging on anybody that's religious, but I am not religious, and it's just like it's just to me, I, if I'm having a shitty holiday season, and then it's like, oh, also. This is actually all about Jesus. Also, I'm like, God Stop! hates you. <laughs> yeah, that's that's very true. Yeah. That's a good point too. Okay, so what I was gonna say is off the cuff. Mm-hmm. Before we started recording, you said, "I love all the things that we have coming up in the next few weeks." But sometimes I'm like, these things could be planned at any time of year. It stresses me out that they all have to happen at once yeah and i think that is the weird thing about the holidays is that it's not about not wanting to see for some people it is and that's fair we'll get to that but for others it's not about not wanting to see everyone it's just that like you genuinely don't even really get to enjoy your time seeing everyone because there's so much pressure in like a one week time span when everyone's on holidays or everyone's free for family dinners or friends want to do friend stuff that it's like, Oh my God, I have to get to a million places at once. And it's, and also I think in a lot of family dynamics, especially with parents or certain family members, they want to feel like they're, you're making time for them. And there's a lot of sensitivity around having like divorced parents or having, um, different sides of the family that you have to make everyone feel important. And then you're kind of stuck in the middle of like, okay, who gets what day? Like all these make believe days that we've decided are important. And it's like, Oh, I'm doing Christmas day at this person's. And then that's making someone else sad. And I'm doing Christmas Eve at this person's like, you genuinely always feel like the weird thing with the holidays. And I should speak for myself is that you always feel like you're, making someone happy and you're also at the same time letting someone down yeah oh for sure and that's like the weirdest thing because you're supposed it's supposed to be this like fun happy loving time and it's like you're constantly like making someone's day and also being like hey i hate to tell you but i'm not gonna make it for this and it's just it's a very like stressful um cluster of scheduling and then on the other side of that for other people they're just constantly being like told and shit's been shoved down their throats that this is about family and love and being around the people you love. Well, some people like don't have certain family members around them. Yeah. Or they have certain family members that um, don't recognize their mm-hmm. identity as valid, yeah. their sexuality as valid, mm-hmm. don't uh, put them on the same level as other people in their family. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, there's so many different ways that the holidays can be stressful for so many different people. And that just comes down to unique experiences. Um, again, I'm only quoting other friends of mine because I haven't had these experiences, but I feel like some listeners might relate to it. Um, but I have a friend whose parents have passed on and they 
literally go on vacation every holidays because they want to be in a place that doesn't feel like Christmassy yeah. because it's a really difficult time for them. And, you know, and then, like I said, I had have other friends that, you know, they have all these family dinners they've got to get to. And then I was just watching TikTok and I found it so Ooh. interesting because um, this non-binary person that I follow was talking about how they basically just have to like mentally buckle up to go um, where they're traveling for five days to be with their quote unquote family and just be misgendered for five days straight and that they just have to five. deal with it. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, I feel like not enough people talk about the Sorry to the listeners that like, want this to be like just one big cheery episode Something tells me that our last holidays episode was also like this. It's just i'm depressing. getting like flashbacks of being like people that clicked on this expecting a holiday episode are gonna are leave crying, crying. <laughs> i just feel like there's i feel like that needs to be said because if i'm even thinking about what i've seen in the media and just in general it's easy to find pieces of content during the holidays that make the holidays seem awesome yeah but like I am someone who loves the holidays and I also think the holidays are awesome, but I also think it's important for there to be pieces of content out there that acknowledge that for some people, like the holidays really suck. I love the holidays and usually I love the holidays more, but I think this holiday season has been like kind of hard for mm. me. And I also just find it like, just like, frustrating that they're supposed to like all be about like joy and like you know how when you hear people that are like oh well the holidays have lost their magic and I was like I don't really think they've lost their magic mm -hmm. I think just like as functioning adults you realize that there are more important things mm -hmm. than like something incredibly trivial totally and that magic isn't just from like putting a fake tree in your living room like mm -hmm. you can create magical moments that are like exciting and heartwarming throughout the year it's just like so frustrating that people put this like holiday magic on this random day of the year totally that has like a lot to do with just money and yeah shit like that well jokes aside because i know we joke about it a lot but honestly it's the same reason i cry on my birthday you get so much like it's the same way reason a lot of people have terrible new year's eves it's like sometimes when we as humans put so much pressure on these like make-believe dates that we've like decided are important yep. in so our society um and for different religions and cultures those dates vary when you put so much pressure on like this day or this night has to be phenomenal it's like that weighs on your mental health in ways that I think a lot of people don't really validate for themselves. Yeah, definitely. I also think what you said earlier was important to note about how the contrast of last year, while a lot of people were like, this really sucks because of COVID, I can't see my family and that's really valid too. Um, or I can't do a lot or I can't see a lot of friends. For a lot of people, it was like the nicest holiday season they've ever had because like, they had oh, an out they had an excuse a very valid one yeah but still an excuse yeah like i remember last year a lot of people um in messages just being like oh this is actually really nice because my i don't have to go see my homophobic family because i can just say i can't get on a plane yeah and like it sucks that people don't feel like they can have that out in general i know there's so many layers to that but i just want to like validate for people that may be listening that you actually don't have to be around people that make you feel like shit. Like I know a lot of people are younger and currently they have to because of their situation, their living situation because of money and like my heart goes out to you. But I feel like a lot of those fears we bring into adulthood and we just get in this weird hamster wheel of like, I'm supposed to see this person. I'm supposed to say hello to this person. I'm supposed to like this person. I'm supposed to be nice to this person. And then you kind of wake up one day and you're like, but why? Like, I can't stand them. They made me always feel like shit or like I'm always drained when I'm around them. So just like I wanted to just give that to anyone who's listening yeah. that like might feel like an asshole for not wanting to be around certain people yeah, this like holiday season. Like if your grandma's season. homophobic, she's still going to be homophobic because there's a fucking gingerbread house on her <laughs> kitchen table, you know? It's not, it's, it's only going to do so much. Absolutely. That gingerbread house is only so strong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I also think because of last year, mm -hmm. people are f***ing, like, 
like on <clears throat> X Games mode this year. Totally. And I think I can sense that people are like pushing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That there are people that are just genuinely excited to get back with everybody. Yeah. But I'm like, I need you to just take two steps back. Because I'm like, at the end of the day, like, I am quite introverted. Mm -hmm. So to have, I basically every weekend day and days in between until Christmas and even after Christmas, I already have booked. Yeah. And some of those plans were made at gunpoint, it feels like. (laughs) So, you're like, send out. Yeah. I'm like, I brought a tip. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, thanks. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. A forced dip. Yeah. Does a dip taste as good as it's forced? All dips taste good. Okay. Yeah. True. <laughs> Unless you can sense the pain in the dip, mm-hmm. um, I think it's okay. Um, one thing I do love, which is so trivial and dumb, uh-huh. but I love it year round. Okay. And the holidays really just give me time to do specifically that is yeah. wrapping presents. I love wrapping presents. It's soothing. It's soothing. And it is, yeah, it's just like very calming. Mm-hmm. And... The thing I like is when you wrap a few presents in the year, you're only wrapping one or two birthday presents at a time. Right. But Christmas comes around. I got to set a you whole gotta five hour chunk. You're, yeah, you got to station I got to get an exacto out. knife. I got to do all this. I wrapped mm-hmm. presents for my boss at work the other day. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're just like a little elf. Really, honestly. And they were gorgeous. You, I have to say, you do a fantastic job wrapping Thank you. gifts. And the other day, just... This speaks to one part that I do like about the holidays. Mm. The other day, I was just watching YouTube videos of how to tie different bow styles. Because, <laughs> like, I actually found, I was like, oh, this is really, this is going to be a game changer in 2021. That is the most you thing I've ever heard. Yeah. I found a great way <laughs> to wrap bows that you waste less ribbon. It was, it was honestly earth shattering. Wow. So tune in for those. Uh, a special maybe Patreon you do a special bonus. Patreon bonus of you wrapping a wrapping bow. tutorial. Yeah. Gorgeous. All right. Well, I'm sorry to anyone who's listening that thinks that this is depressing and sad. Go wrap a present. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, you know, we just have to give the other side of things. I don't think it's depressing and sad. I think it's real and truthful and honest. You tell them. Well, it's just like I don't, I also don't say, I I don't think that uh, bringing attention to these issues necessarily takes away from the holidays, but no. I think not talking about these Might issues. Might make people feel alone. Is, yeah, is stupid. 100%. So I'm like, I'll still have a great holiday and I will have fun and mm-hmm. see my family and that will be nice. But I'm like, these things are still valid and happening to a lot of people. Absolutely. So. Well, with that, you're welcome for that extra holiday cheer holiday tear it's <laughs> the saddest thing you've ever said a holiday, a holiday tear, tear from sean <laughs> all right well wherever you're listening watching make sure you follow or subscribe jesus Christ. and then five stars five stars with a comment i can't stand when you're just five star and you're not leaving a written essay on why we're so amazing what yeah. is that? With sources. It should be cited. Absolutely. Yeah. And then um, also at I Can Explain Podcast on TikTok, getting close to that 1 million mark. And that's when we shut her down. Yeah. So, we've honestly just been, we've been getting there pretty quickly. So make sure you get in over there. Yeah. Uh, our last video had 70,000 views. That's a lot. I can't see right now. Famous. I saw it. Like, something's <laughs> happened to you in like, the last minute. My contact has gone <laughs> upside down. It's gone. It's, it's, she's, she's just, see you later. Okay. Well, until next time, we will <laughs> see you around the, the gamer I feel like that was not the greatest. Until next time, we will <laughs> see, see you around, around the, the gamer That was better, I think. I Happy felt... holidays. Unless they're not. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> oh, my God.